Hey what's up guys it's Joel and before I begin this video I wanted to tell you guys that the gameplay is just uh, FFA um, I go I think I go 30 and 7 um, towards the end I started to choke a bit on winning um, which is what I do a lot when I like I'm doing well KD wise and then I just start to choke and I start to die I've been struggling kind of in FFA on like I win all the FFAs, but like it's hard not to die for me. So if you guys have any tips for me on not dying, that would be awesome. I die way too much in this game, so it's kind of annoying. Um, but this is just what I ended up getting last night. So, yeah. So what I wanted to talk to you guys about is a story, and it's kind of like a scary story for me at least. It was really freaky. Um, and I don't want you guys to look at my brother any different for the, from this, but yeah, just, just hear me out. It was really freaky really creepy and yeah so I was sitting in my room just like this and I was I think I was playing I think I was watching a movie or something I wasn't even doing anything I, was, I wasn't playing a game or anything and it was um, really late and as most of you guys know I'm a night owl I stay up all night and I sleep during the day it's a really bad habit but everyone in the house was asleep my sister sleeps in in my bed with me but um, sometimes when I'm awake and she's not she's sleeping behind me and you guys can't tell but next to that brown thing right there is a door and that door leads to my brother's room we have a really small house so our rooms are literally like connected with the door and we have these really old style um, locks so um, it's not really like a lock that you put in the knob it's just like a lock that you can like just you just latch it. It's like a latch. I'm sitting here and I'm watching um, some show, and I'm talking to David. And David says, "Beer back." I think he's making a food, making food or something. And I start to hear screaming, like really loud screaming, and it's coming from my brother's room. And I can tell that it's my brother. And I'm, I hear it, and I'm just kind of like, he's done it before. He has these night terrors, like, and usually it's just screaming, and then he goes to bed. Um, goes back to bed but this time was really freaking creepy okay really creepy okay so he's screaming yeah and i i start to get like kind of freaked out and stuff and he just crawls okay he's on all fours crawls breaks down the door like breaks off his lock um so his lock is now broken he breaks it off okay he threw everything in his room on his from his bed on the ground he's crawling to my room he, like I said, he broke down the door, and I'm panicking, okay? I just instantly jump out of my chair, and I lose all feeling in my arms and in my legs. I fall. I bruise my knee, and I'm trying to wake up my mom because I'm freaked out. Like, I'm so freaked out. I started having a panic attack. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't feel my body. I was numb. It was really, really creepy. And my brother is... I. I don't want to go in there because I'm just really freaked out. He's just sitting. He's just sitting. He doesn't remember any of this, by the way. He's just sitting there like this. And I'm just like, Thomas, like, are you okay? Mom, mom, I'm making a video. Okay, but I'm making a video. Oh, my God. Okay, bye. So as I was saying, he was just sitting there like this. And I was like, Thomas, like, that's his name. And I'm like, trying to talk to him because he's just sitting there on my bed. My sister is laying on the bed with him. Or no, I think by now she, because I screamed and I woke them up. I tried to wake them up as fast as I could. I think she goes out there with me and it's just him just sitting on my bed. So I'm like, Thomas, like, hello, like, are you okay? Before he snapped out of it, he was just blinking like, and just blinked at me like 500 times and uh, and then he finally snapped out of it but um, when he snapped out of it he couldn't remember any of it and he just went straight to bed but we were really really freaked out especially me because he was screaming and then he just crawls like imagine someone screaming okay they crawl they break down your door and you're just like what the f <laughs> like you think that like someone is there with them or something like and it it's your brother and and in this situation like you don't know whether to trust them and like trust that they're okay and that they're in the right mind or like get away from them because you're like they don't seem sane and um he's had these before where he just starts he wakes up and he starts screaming and yelling and um this isn't the only time actually um if i walk into his room while he's asleep he'll he'll freak out and like just he instantly wakes up and he just like at, he feels it's like it's like he feels like he's always gonna be attacked like he goes into like um like 
defense mode. And another time that he's done this is my mom was going down into his room, and this was when I lived in like a three story house or whatever, and his was at the bottom. And she was going down into his room, and his room was really, really dark. And this was at nighttime, and she wasn't gonna like, she wasn't gonna do anything. I think she was like grabbing a game or something. And um, he woke up and I think he thought my mom was the Slender Man because at that time he was watching so much stuff on the Slender Man. He was really creeping himself out by like watching so much of it. And he started just, he stood up. He just stood up and just started rah, rah, like screaming at my mom. And um, my mom was really freaked out. She was like, Thomas, Thomas, it's me, it's me, it's me. Like, and he, every time he does this, he can't remember any of it. We try to explain it to him. We try to tell him. We tell him to go to the doctor because we think it's pretty abnormal. Um, but... I'm pretty sure they're just night terrors, but honestly, when he came in my room crawling on all fours, I gotta say, I was really freaked out. I don't know about you guys, but I thought he was possessed. I was really freaked out. Like, I, I don't know, seeing him like that, and then having him just stare at me and just blink like a hundred times, knock my door down, I don't know, it was a really, really, really weird situation. I always wondered how, in scary movies, people would just fall, you know, if they're, if they're being attacked by, like, a killer, and, like, you're, like, they're running away, and then they just fall, and you're just like, oh, come on, like, why does that always have to happen in every scary movie? Well, now I know why it happens, okay? You literally lose all control of your body, okay? You literally just go into panic mode, and you can't feel anything. You're just trying to get away as quickly as you can, and that's literally what happened. Obviously, he wasn't going to murder me, but my mind was like, run the hell away, okay? This is dangerous, <laughs> and I fell, I bruised my knee, and uh, now I get it. Now I get why in scary movies, they fall, okay? <laughs> Obviously, my brother isn't possessed. I think that he just gets really bad night tears. If you guys have ever had or experienced anything like this before, tell me in the comments because I really want to know, or you can tweet at me. Um, but I want to know, like, have you ever had a night terror, or have you ever experience someone who's had something like this. I just wanted to share that story with you guys, but let me know if that's ever happened to you guys, and if you could drop a like on this video, that would be very much appreciated. I hope that you guys enjoyed this really weird story um, about my brother being crazy, and if you want to check out his channel, he actually makes YouTube videos, COD videos, and he's going to be making Halo videos as well. So um, check him out. I'll link him in the description. And I love you guys so much, and thank you for watching this video, and my brother is really creepy for that. <laughs> Bye, guys. Mwah.